This is my Bible, my sword, my life. I believe what it says about me. I am strong. I am the head. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. I am more than a conqueror. Today, I will be taught how to live by faith. For we walk by faith and not by sight. He said, just speak to the storm. As you guide through it, I, oh, they taking my job, taking my car, taking my, ah, ah, hold it, don't cry. Just speak and say, God, you on board, right? Then you got me. Welcome to another edition of the Increase Your Faith broadcast where Dr. Orlester Johnson, senior pastor and servant of Greater Faith Tabernacle Ministries, will lead and guide us through God's word. Our faith will be increased, our minds will be challenged, and our lives will be changed forever. Join us now as the Bible comes alive.
almost took me out. A piece of me A piece of me fell off of me. And I understand why God let it happen. I didn't know why, I didn't know why, I didn't know why, I didn't know why. God did what he did. I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't know why. I love him like I do because he hurt me so bad. But the more that I think about who he is and what he's done for me, I get back to church, I find where I am, and I realize all I need, I might be shorter. I might have lost a little bit of stamina, but I realize one thing, I still got something inside of me. trying to solve your brother's problem, your sister's problem. You might get dull because you need another sharpening because your eyes are weak and your mind is cluttered and you become depressed. You become depressed because you need help. And so you're wandering through his place because you lost your focus of your destination. I want peace. I want some joy. And I can't get it as long as I'm looking at you. Man, my, I done broke my thing, y'all. At least, at least y'all, y'all got the message right. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> y'all be seated. Oh my God, I, I, I felt this last night. I called Kimberly last night and said, Kimberly, bring me a pencil tomorrow. Where y'all going? Sit down, Lucy. Lucy, sit down. I ain't done. I ain't said I was done. Sit down. Sit down. Y'all need this day. I promise you, you need this. You need this. You need this. You need this. You need this day. Listen. Because when you become depressed over another person's issues, you are dull. And the value, the value, Renee, is in the lid. There's a lot of stuff around this pencil, wood. But the wood is just covering what the value is. And when I think about your body, your body is just protecting the heart. Ah! And I don't want nothing to get to my heart and damage my heart because it was my heart that I serve, that I honor, that I worship God with. It was a pure heart and as long as I can keep my heart from being damaged by you, I got a chance to make it to another place. I'm not going to let what happen. Tell somebody, you need no sharpening. Sharp. Sit down. Sit down. Listen. I was writing last night, and I heard this. I said, I said, listen, without being sharpened, it's almost impossible to make a mark that is understandable, even with your potential. The lead is still embedded inside of you. I heard this last night as I was writing this sermon. And I heard the Lord say, 
the ledge is going to break. I was writing it and I heard God say, the lid is going to break. See, see, you guys don't understand why church is important. See, see, you, you, there are folks today who are watching who don't understand what it means to be in fellowship. Church is important. Fail not to assemble yourself. I done got, I, I, got to, I got to preach in a few minutes at another place, and I done got happy day for. Listen, listen. I, I, I began to look at something, and then, and then uh, God said this. God says, thank God your heart is not on your shoulders. Y'all, y'all get later, you get later. Thank Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Just like the pencil, there is something around the lid. But look at all things you've gone through. Your, your problem solvers have always been God. He's always been there. He's always. And guess what's on the top of the pencil? Or treats a problem as though what? It never happened. Y'all missed that part. An eraser treats a problem as if it never happened. God knew we would mess up. So he gave us grace and mercy. <laughs> ah, ah, that's the eraser. He said, I remember those things. I, hey, I forgot that stuff y'all did back in 1976. I forgot that stuff. I'm not worried about that mess you did back in 1980. It don't bother me how you, how you act in 1996. It can get me, but oh, I gave you grace and mercy. Draw me through. I'm living this moment because of you. I want to and your grace and mercy brought me you to understand something when it comes to grace and mercy. Erase that mess out of your head. Mm -hmm. I know he hurt you. Erase it. I know she did your own. Erase it. I know the job just was unfair. Erase it. And then tell him thank you for letting me go because I found out that I was not right 
fight here no way. Ah! I told y'all I wouldn't have to finish this sermon today. Because I got some I got some more stuff. Man. I'm Logan now. I'm Logan now. I can't finish it. I can't, I can't finish it. I got five interesting thoughts about you and the pencil. I'm gonna save it, Kelly, for next week. I got five interesting thoughts as I labored last night. He gave me five, five interesting thoughts about you and a pencil. And so, let's come back next week and let's look at this. So, to conclude today, I want us to look at this and this is not in the notes, so, uh, video team won't have it, but let me just kind of finish up what we talked about the other week about Samson. And, I, I, and you may give me 10 minutes and I'm, I'm done. Samson, as you remember, hope you guys remember it, is together. And we talked about how Samson was born for this and, and then all of a sudden his daddy, Manoah, y'all know remember Manoah? And how, how Manoah was questioning God and and how his wife told him, said, don't be a fool, man. Why would God let us live? Samson is born to deliver the people of God. God had heard their plea for 40 years. And although Manoah and his wife were not expect to have a child, because God heard your cry. Don't ever give up. Be persistent. Don't ever give up. Whatever God has promised, he's more than able to perform it. Samson, this is, this, this, I, I, I want to bring it out, and I, I thought I didn't have enough time, but, but maybe, maybe, maybe I can do this just in, in, in eight minutes. This is what some of us are. We're in a place where God has developed us to be something. And we get distracted. Delilah distracted Samson. See, Satan knows what you like. Samson was supposed to marry another girl from his native land. Sometimes when we marry outside of who we really know, we start doing things that we never would have done. In other words, if I had never married her, I never would have started drinking. Or if I never married him, I would have stayed in church. So we get out of our comfort zone by marrying people that God told us, hold, hold, pump the brakes. <laughs> pump the brakes. Don't, don't do that. And then, no, but because you're so darn lustful, you got the hearts and the cot. <laughs> and so you find yourself in that position. Had to have it. Yeah, position, yeah. 
Samson was so strong, and you, you, you read, you remember we talked about how he was not supposed to cut his hair, no drinking no, no drink the wine, and, and do, hey, the, the guy was magnificent in height. He had locks of hair. And the girl kept trying to ask him, Danny. She kept asking, what makes you strong? See, see, sometimes, not all women, but a lot of women have ulterior motives. Not all of them, JT. I am you to have them no ulterior huh? Yeah, 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 right. Not all of them, not, not all of them. But most of the time. And, 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 and then here she is. She, 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 and listen, I, I told you, if you, you didn't study portrayal, it's your fault. But listen, you go back and you read, and you, if you look up Delilah, that was a bad chick. She's one of them chicks you, you, you walk by and you say, I'm a girl watcher. I'm a girl watcher. Here comes one now. And then you didn't just look, you just shoo. <laughs> Man, Delilah messed Samson up. And she was not from his native land. So there's sometimes you are going outside of your native culture and getting with something and somebody that don't understand your culture. Some men came to her and said, hey, come on, girl. We'll pay you to find out what makes that rascal strong because that rascal stronger than the bull. We can't get him. We can't get him. We can't get him. That's just one man. So if I can't get to him, let me go through a woman. She know how to make it happen. <laughs> Samson sat in Delilah's barber chair. I could see her now stroking. I can, I can see her now. I can see her now stroking. Just stroking, just stroking. <laughs> I can see her now just stroking. Just stroking Samson. Just stroking him. And, and, and rubbing his face and making him feel like, oh, girl, stop it. You keep going, I'm going to tell you everything I know. I'm making, you, I'm making you laugh, but my point is, yeah. Satan is crafty. Yeah. And though you are born for something else, he knows your potential. Yeah. And he'll pull you away from what you should be doing in order to fulfill his desire. Yeah. Notice how God even though he was out there committing fornication, right. notice how God never took away his power until you broke the covenant. And when you broke the covenant, you broke the promise that you were told not to do. And when you broke the covenant, God said, that's it. Fanny, that's it. You can't go no further. And she cut his hair off. And when they came in on him again, listeners came in, they said, we'll get him. And, he, and Daniel, like he, he said, the Bible says, he did like he'd done before. And he didn't have nothing. Man, a woman will rob you of your precious strength. Amen. 
she got the goods. And, <laughs> and the goods will mess you up. But Samson was a man of understanding who God was. Samson understood this. Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. I want to and praise you too. Your grace and mercy brought me through. They locked him up. They picked at him, they teased him, they threw things. He was, in, he was on this like, 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 like a gorilla. He's in a cage and they're just picking at him, throwing at him. Ah, oh, come on, Samson, do it now to us. Come on, come on, do it to us now, Samson. Do it now. And all he said was this here. Your grace and mercy. Yeah, put his eyes out. Put, it, put his eyes out. He couldn't see nothing. Brought me through. He didn't have a lazy eye. He had no eye. But in his mind's eye, I know that God loved me. Huh. I, I know God loved me. He would not have let me be born without me fulfilling my purpose. He prayed one more time and said, God, would you please just give me one more time that I may be redeemed for what I've done. He asked, he asked some, of the, some, of the, some of the attendants that was, that was watching him. He said, let me, let me feel the post here and feel the post here. And then I just can imagine that I know the song wasn't played back then, but I can imagine you see saying, your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. I want to and praise you too. Your grace and mercy brought me through. So God avenged me one more time. And the Bible says that he was sent there to destroy the Philistines. And when he pushed that pillow, he killed more in one setting than he killed his whole lifetime. Ah. He was born for a purpose. Everyone standing. You're